finally done it. I have released my own preset. Some of you might have seen it on Instagram or on TikTok that I have released some automotive preset. It really grinded my gears that you have to pay a lot of money for color graded presets for your automotive videos. So I just thought, why shouldn't I just do my own presets and release them to you guys for free as a kind of thanks for nearly about 700 subscribers on YouTube. I'm really, really thankful that you guys are following me, are watching my videos and are supporting me. So I thought it would be time to give something back to you guys. So I just released 11 presets for you guys that you can use in your own videos. The good thing about those presets is that those are cube files. That means that you can use them in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or in After Effects or Final Cut. So you can use them in every program that is able to use cube files for color grading. Some of you might don't really know how to use presets or how to use cube files correctly. That's why we are talking right now. That's why I'm making this video right now. I will show you how to correctly use my automotive preset. You will find the link in the description to download your presets. They are all free. I don't want any information or something like that. Those are just giveaways for you guys because I'm grateful for about 700 subscribers now. And I'm really grateful that you guys are watching my videos and I would like to know down in the comments which preset you like the most. So let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And I would say let's jump into Premiere Pro and I will show you how to correctly use those color grading presets. All right, so the first footage that we will take is some footage from Driftmasters in Austria. What we're gonna do is we will create a new adjustment layer, make sure that it fits to your settings of the sequence. Drop it on top of the clip. Now the footage we have is in S-Log 3. We go to the Lumetri tab and click on the adjustment layer. And first of all, we want to use a S-Log 3 to Rec 709. You can download these LUTs on Sony um, and in the internet you will find for every camera some LUTs to convert your LUT, uh, your log profile to the Rec 709. You might want to have some more structure than I have in my All right, now we have our basic picture um, right here, which is 709. And we would drop another adjustment layer on top of that. Oh, didn't hit that. We would drop another adjustment layer on top of that. And now we can use the LUTs that I have created for you. The important thing is that when you use LUTs and when you are working with LUTs, that you have to use them on an adjustment layer, layer and use them in your creative tab of your Lumetri color. Don't use them in basic corrections, never ever. Because using them in your creative tab will make things a lot easier and you will have the ultimate power of using those LUTs. You can make all adjustments like you want to have them. So we're taking my cinematic black lot now. I will apply it. And as you can see, the picture change. Here with that slider, I can have a look how strong the LUT should be applied. After I've done that, I can still do some basic corrections. That means I can still drag up how light the picture should be. I can play around with the contrast and in the creative tab, I can even play around with the saturation or vibrance. So that means you have ultimate power of using those LUTs and adjust those LUTs. Next clip, we will take 
is a clip that's already filmed in a normal profile that means no lock profile i just assume that they are close to rec 709 the next clip is this beautiful nissan sylvia this is filmed with my old canon eos rp which did not have any color profile so i couldn't film in c log or something like that so i was not able to film on a flat profile so this is close to rec 709 of course it's the basic canon profile but it works perfectly so once again i take my adjustment layer which i already have created and as you can see now we still have that cinematic black i just quickly reset it all right so basic corrections brightness to zero contrast to zero as you can see it's the same lot like we used before and it really looks awesome and i can easily just apply another one just drag in whatever you want like i don't know like the night drive neon lot that i created and boom things just have changed so we can play around how strong this color profile this slot should be over the image and we also have ultimate power of brightness contrast highlights and all that stuff so that makes working with LUTs so easy and the best thing is that you have ultimate power so you can break them how you want them using those LUTs will make it a lot easier to give your automotive videos a similar style um, what do i mean by similar because i used some different cameras and all that stuff and might be using other s log to rec 709 profiles than you do the outcomes will always be a bit different but this is the easiest way to get similar looks like the big ones so those slots are for free and well once again you have ultimate power and i think this is just beautiful to use and makes things a lot easier That was really, really easy, wasn't it? So you see, you still have all the power you need while using those presets. You can adjust them as how you want the image to look like or to feel like. I would still like to know which one is your favorite one. So let me know down in the comments. And here comes a little extra for the guys that are more into photography than into making videos. I also released color profile presets what that means and how you can use them is something that we will be talking about in the next video so i would really appreciate if you would leave a subscription and i would really appreciate if you guys will let me know down in the comments what you think about those presets so i will see you next week when i show you how you can use those slots in your photos so stay tuned and I will see you next week.